Thomas Partey was absolutely fantastic against Chelsea. And I think he deserves a whole video analysing his performance and just showing the different things he added to our game that made us even better. We know he's a top, top, top quality player, but it's always just about his availability. And when he's in the side, you do notice a difference. He's a lot more forward thinking. He's really good at interceptions and he reads the game so, so well. But before I begin, if you could please smash the subscribe button, smash the like button and turn on notifications. If you're new here, it would really help the channel out. So let's start by looking at Thomas Partey's stats during the match. His heat map, fantastic. You know, he was playing at the base of the midfield, sitting just below Declan Rice and Odegaard either side of him. You can see he's appearing a lot on that right side of the pitch next to Odegaard, next to Saka. He was really creating triangles with Ben White as well. And then when we're looking at our third, he's there as well. And I think he made our left side a lot more fluid. We saw him get the pre-assist for Leandro Trossard and that's what he's all about. So two key passes, 56 touches and 86% pass accuracy, 72 minutes played. He also won two out of six of his ground duels and won all of his aerial duels, one clearance, three interceptions and one tackle. So a really, really all round class midfielder show from our octopus Thomas Partey. So here is Thomas Partey's first action from the match and I thought it was really impressive. His positioning, knowing where that pass is going to go and then sticking out his long legs to prevent it getting to the Chelsea players. Something he gives off ahead of Jorginho is his ability to run and chase after attackers. Jorginho's athleticism has got worse and that is expected with his age. But what you may have noticed is the amount of recovery runs that Declan Rice had to do, which was significantly lower than when Jorginho was at the base of that midfield three. Declan Rice has confidence in Partey, mop up defensively. And having that confidence meant Declan Rice could take more risks and play a lot higher. If you notice, Declan Rice had a lot more actions in the final third around Chelsea's box. A lot more shots. And an assist as well. Talking about that Declan Rice, here is Thomas Partey contributing to the assist. A brilliant triangle created with him, Erdegaard and Havert. Then a ball is played into Declan Rice, who then gives it to Trossard. And this is why us Arsenal fans wanted to see this midfield three play together. Because look at how fluid they are. They're able to bounce off each other. And Partey has the awareness and the confidence to then quickly pass it on to Declan Rice. One thing about Thomas Partey is he isn't afraid to play forward or play sideways in order to then go forward. And this is very important when we're playing against teams in a mid block, in a low block. These sort of players are crucial, especially at the base of your midfield. Just look how many Chelsea players are behind the ball. And this is as a result of Thomas Partey's quick pass into Declan Rice. He gives it to Trossard who scores. Now it would be silly for me to leave this brilliant pit of play from Thomas Partey. Completely takes Caicedo out of the game. And I don't think you guys realise how good this was. The confidence to try that in the middle of the pitch is just absolutely amazing. And then he sets Odegaard on his way to then pass Saka, who is 1v1 against Kukurea. And it's these small things which can create actions. And Thomas Partey showed that he's a master when it comes to pre-shot actions creations. Here, I want you to watch the ball and where it ends up and Thomas Partey's movement. He's so close with Odegaard at the start. Then he creates space in the middle. Him and Odegaard have that understanding that you need in the midfield free. They have the fluidity and you just can see that they know what each other wants to do before it even happens. And then we know Thomas Partey is not afraid to play those long balls and completely evade the press or the midfield of Chelsea. He essentially just tells Trossard, go on, take on your man or recycle, it's up to you. And it's just a joy watching Thomas Partey when he's in his best form, when he floats the ball into attacking areas. Chelsea literally couldn't get near him. There was times where Gallagher would try and press. In this image, it's Caicedo again trying to press. I feel like Chelsea tried to put a man-to-man -man with Caicedo on Partey, but it was a complete mismatch. Thomas Partey was against Chelsea, but I feel like that's unfair and untrue. If you look at the responsibility he took in the build-up, playing in Saka, playing in Trossard, it was brave. In this situation, look at the gap in between Mudrik and Gallagher. That is actually really good positioning from the Chelsea players. 
but it's the sheer quality and confidence from Thomas Partey to even attempt that pass. Any other player and that is being intercepted, but just the sheer quality of Thomas Partey created an attacking opportunity for Bakaya Saka one-on-one with Kukurea. And that's a winger's dream. Thomas Partey is not just a dream to the other midfielders, but a dream to the attackers. He's always looking to play that ball into them, into their feet or even in behind. And that's just something you need in your squad. That sort of profile is so, so valuable. Anyway, that's it for now, Gunners. Of course, if you're new here, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button and turn on notifications to not miss another video. So without further ado, see you later.